But let's make our way into the Windham Catacombs. That's not right. How dare you. <laughs> if I can find where you're from. Hmm. Hmm. You have three tries, and here's the first hint. I'm from Europe. Am I guessing country or actual city? Oh god, I hate one of these locations. Every time you get it wrong, I'll give you another hint. Cool. Okay, okay, okay. I like this game. Let me heal. I'm currently being rocked like a hurricane. Country. Okay. Hmm. Europe. Hmm. He has not mentioned baguettes yet. It's not for <laughs> All right. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. I'll give this my best effort. Ugh. Alright, I gotta make it a guess. <sighs> There's so many, and I only get three tries. I do have another friend here, and that friend is my wonderful fiance. You know what? Let's first go with Italy. Oh, that is adorable. Since you have a fiance, I'll give you plus one try. Fair enough. I I've been bribed into an additional try. No, it's not Italy, but I do like Italian lol. Fair enough. Alright, alright. I'm being munched on. Here's a hint. It's close to Italy. Fuck.
Huh? That would be really funny. Uh... Don't even jinx me about that. That'd be so funny. <laughs> I'm torn. If you Google Maps, that's minus one. <laughs> no, I'm just... I don't have a Google Maps. I just have a a list, and I'm thinking of all the ones nearby. And she said France, so we'll go with France. I'll go. I'll give my fiance's plus one at a try at at France. I know, right? Ah. See if France gets me any closer. What if I'm just like dancing around it? was in France. <laughs> I should stop stepping on the lightning. All right. laugh if it turns out to be like Switzerland because I feel like I've just been rotating around Switzerland <laughs> it has a rare language fuck <sighs> a rare language This is, this is genuinely, genuinely the toughest decision I've had to make in my life. It has a rare language as well. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. I can't fix the U.S. education system. This feels like I should have known this already. All right. Don't tick, tick, tick. All right. Uh... Near 
nearby. Okay. Uh, Austria? Yes. <laughs> it's close. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be going in the complete opposite direction. I could be fucking myself over right now. It's hurt with an A, but it's not Austria. Damn. One more try. One more try. Okay. It starts with an A, but it's not Austria. We can work with these details. All right. Starts with an A. And it's not Austria. Oh, then is it Albania? I'm I'm guessing Albania. That should fulfill every single one of those things. It's near Italy. It has an A. It's in Europe. <laughs> it's worse because I I look and saw <laughs> Albania on the list and I'm like it's not going to be that. <laughs> well, hello, my wonderful viewer from Albania. Yeah. It was, in fact, Albania. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go kick that dude's ass. Oh. We have a winner. Thank you. I try. All right, now we gotta wreck this dude's ass. Nope. Whew. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. get a lovely sub and like thank you no oh i ate too many hits against that guy i would sub to you anyways even if you couldn't find it I love watching people play Elden Ring. <laughs> Let me tell you, I have 40 wonderful episodes of it already. <laughs> of me failing through the wonderfulness that is Elden Ring. Alright, we just need to fall down and then... Of course we're going to use a stone sword key. What are they crazy? Of course I'm gonna get in here. Game. Game. There we go. Now we can do this and this. And what magical item are we getting? Lightning scorpion charm. Interesting. Ow. 
Oh, sorry, let me put in more detail. I love seeing people playing it live. That is very fair. It is on, I think, my schedule for two, two times a week right now, just so we can, uh, we can get through it for when the DLC inevitably launches for this game. My God, is it going to be beautiful? Because don't they just always nail the DLC? It always feels like, yeah. It always feels like FromSoft nails the DLC for their uh, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, whatever. <coughs> it always feels like such a good expansion. I do. My wonderful little truck driver hat. It's really comfortable. It's like elastic and everything. It feels so nice. Just, my dad always wore hats, and I always grew up wearing hats, so inevitably, I just continued to wear hats. That, and if I take off my hat, people will call me Ed Sheeran, and I don't like that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I got punched. Get out of here. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> Defeated like the little bitch he was, cat. Whew. All right, let's see. Oh, we're a little bit jittery. Shake off the rust. All right, we already saw Millicent. I think we rested at the lake. I think we're a little bit doomed in that manner because I think all the skeletons will spawn back then. Well, I have a ginger friend that I call a Sharon because he only has his beard and I call him <laughs> Beard Sharon. That's hilarious. I'm happy I can grow a mustache. Whether it's an impressive one or not, at least I have a mustache. I'm not cursed. Oh, I think we gotta go down there for the cart. One of the carts, at least. Hi, Millicent. don't think we have anything down here. I'm glad I can look really cool while doing this. If you don't have a mustache, lol, that's fair. If you can't grow a mustache, you just give up. <laughs> Great shield talisman. Uh, and there should be something over at this one as well. That's not nice. Did your fiance love you because of your ginger? <laughs> or <laughs> of the mustache? I think she just loved me because I look like a nerd where she saw me first. You can answer that better than anybody, though. Oh. 
Did you find me more attractive because of the mustache? Well, okay. <laughs> wow. Saying cute things like that. How dare you? All right, let's see. You're from the encampment. Turn north and make your way into the canyon. Keep the cliff immediately on your left until you find a troll. Just ahead is the Altus Tunnel that requires two stone keys inside. Okay. Back this way we go. Oh, I hope the DLC comes out at the beginning of next year. That's what I'm really hoping for, for, uh, for Elden Ring. They usually release it around, uh, this time of the year, or, uh, the beginning of the year anyways, so I'm hoping for some good news about it. Whew. I see a bug. <coughs> oh no, that's a crab. I know what you're trying to do, and I don't appreciate it. Oh no, there's another one. I have problem chat, we have crabs. People waiting for the DLC me had to double jump and throw it low. <laughs> Listen, man, it is it is just fine. I would rather I would rather experience this game at all, no matter what time, than uh shame anybody who like hasn't gotten or picked up the game yet. It's a fantastic game. I can't wait for you to experience it, and I hope you have a great time. can't allow anybody to run. I'm still unhappy that the second jump of Torrid doesn't re <laughs> reset fall damage. Yeah, it kind of is trash in that exact regard. Some of the jumps, it just feels like you should be able to negate the fall damage, and you can't. But I completely get it. It's just... It feels like it should. In every instance in which I felt like the double jump should have been able to reset my jump, it should have just been able to do it. But it's okay. There are ways around it. You make do in the game, I guess. That's not what I meant to do, but okay... In every one of these caves, just to let you know, you can go around the uh, side and get more resources instead of uh, using the cliff. Or the elevator. Oh. <coughs> 
I don't know if anybody had taught you that yet, but there you go. In every single one of the tunnels, it's the same. Better call that bad boy down. Hmm. Get out of here, chumps. Funny thing, I haven't played the game yet. I have helped over 121 streamers with lore and gameplay. That's hilarious. Right now, I'm just using the wonderfulness that is the uh, game progress route from the Fextra Life one just as a general guide. Just because you know how we gamers are, eventually somebody mid-maxes the run through. <coughs> eventually we get to this point, just stabbing everything. Some more revive. Do da, do da. Killing things left and right all the do da day. Uh, where are we going next? I think we can go down to that platform. And then probably here. I started as a hobby in July and still going whenever I feel bored and get on my Elden Ring live stream and I make a new friend just like you. Aw, thank you. I'm glad to be your new friend. Oh, let's see, where are the troublemakers? Get out of here, dog. Troublemaker! can't believe he blew up this place like that. I mean, I can believe that he would blow up this place like that. Uh, I love just picking up some of the, the most random games that I've ever loved, adored, all the good jazz. We made our way through. That's all that matters to me. <sighs> Everything's trying to kill me. Ugh. Can't believe it. I had a lot of fun over the months and made lots of friends whenever I get to stream. The streamer remembers me and greets me. It makes my day when streamers remember me. Aw. I always try to remember people, at least the, uh, anybody who joins my streams. There are a couple people from the past that just haven't shown up for a while that, uh, I get happy whenever I see them. I understand the feeling. Better chuck my Estus and get my summon ready. <coughs>
Get him, summon. Get him. All right, fine. Ah! Any plans on doing an only run? Mm, I might. I have really... I guess this is my run right now is only claws. I have magic and stuff, but I barely ever use it. And uh, it was the first run that I ever did on the game. So I enjoy it. And that's why I probably want to do it for stream, just because I know it so well. Uh, but if I had to choose if I was going to do an only run, I think a straight up just only magic one would be a lot of fun. Just build into int and then go from there would definitely be a lot of fun. Where are we going next? Old Atlas Tunnel, we already did that. Exit and then follow north until you come into a poisonous area. Hmm. Let's see. Exit and continue following north. Right. Guess we gotta go up here. Only magic sounds quite fun. I uh one of my buddies did an only magic run and he really enjoyed it. He became ridiculously overpowered just throwing moons at everybody. It was absolutely wild to see it in action. Nobody could get close to him just because but I'm more of a bonk guy, lol. That's fair. I loved in uh, Dark Souls 2, you could... Uh, how to put it accurately, you could... Uh, <coughs> you could dual wield the great swords. I beat Bloodborne with the Kirkhammer and Lingarian's wheel, lol. That, yeah... I understand that fact. I love uh, Lugarius, or I love Ludwig's Holy Blade. I'm definitely a man who enjoys the uh, the ridiculousness of putting a straight sword into the the sheath, and then it becomes a larger sword. I enjoyed that little chaos. Where are we going from here? Prentice area. The this is the shaded castle. Please see the page for a proper walkthrough of the area. Notable items include perfumers, the Valkyries that you need to advance the Millicent's quest to the west of the castle and invasion by. Okay, so there's an invasion by somebody over here. It gives you the. Okay, so we should get invaded over here, and we gotta do this. I'm guessing this is where it happens. That's right, coward. Oh, you think you can... Alright, maybe that just one time. Get out of here. Bloodborne story, peak boss designs, peak music, peak parries, pretty <coughs> steer weapon peak. Yes. <coughs> I can never knock the music in any of these games. They're always so gothic and amazing. Very cathedral-like, but it has no tutorial lull. That is true. It really sends you deep into the fires, like, immediately. 
and made up for it by the fact that it was faster than the previous games, I feel. All right, I took care of that. All right, we got to get the prosthetic, so let's roam into the actual castle. Also, DLC peak. That is true. It had a fantastic ending for the game. Just adding that little bit extra. Oh, the Orphan of Cause was fantastic. Uh, Maria was fantastic. Each bit of those DLCs is just mm, amazing. Bosses, the enemies you fight, the areas, the way they're designed. I've never been more scared for my life than, uh, than actually facing off against more hunters. I think Bloodborne was a good, because DS2 was so bad. True. I I get why DS2 was bad. The main guy was gone. They didn't have the ability to just, you know, they didn't have their usual guy. He was off doing his own things. And, you know, that's the product we got. We got DS2. It wasn't bad, but it, it wasn't good either. It's a... DS2 is a 6 on the best day. Which is okay, but, you know, mediocre is not, like, the place you want to be. DS2 was <laughs> rushed, in my opinion. Yeah. I, uh, I think instead of trying to make something that, uh, that our boy would have been proud of, instead they just, like, it feels like they try to imitate and go for too much Dark Souls. It's terrible to say it, but it just feels like... <clears throat> it feels like they were chasing the image of the original creator instead of actually trying to develop something that they could have been proud of. If you're going to work on Dark Souls, I know that you are going to be worried that fans aren't going to, you know, be that, that amped because it's made by a bunch of individuals that aren't your main guy that's been making literally every single one of the games, been helping been there seeing everything since Kingsfield. So I get it. I get what they were worried about. And I honestly don't think with the way they handled everything that they uh, they actually did a good job. I think they could have done a whole lot better if uh, if they had tried to do a couple of like new things with it, or at least a, a couple more unique ideas. Since it wasn't from the same mind, we weren't expecting it to be the same, but we wanted some unique things going on. I'd say Scholar of the First Sin, though, gets it pretty close to a really good game. If we're including Scholar of the First Sin, I could I could amp it to a 7. Maybe a 7.5. <coughs> a 
let's see, DS1, 8.5, DS3, 9.2, pretty solid. Demon Souls, I think it deserves an 8.6, that's fair. Bloodborne is a 9.6, of course. Elden Ring is a 9.8, and Sekiro is an 8.6. That seems about right. I think if we didn't get Scholar the First Sin, I could not rate uh, Dark Souls 2 any higher. I think with Scholar of the First Sin included for the DLC and everything, I, I feel like you can, you can increase it enough to feel like it was a worthy enough game. But Bloodborne's still just the best. <laughs> Nothing we have ever wanted more is just Bloodborne. That's what I really want. That's what we need. And we're not going to get it. And that's what I'm sad about. I've been hugged. <coughs> Ooh, Smo Nordstein. Perfect bosses. I get the uh, the difficulty of making dual bosses. Just because the balance needs to be strong enough that it feels like it's a hassle with both of them there. But not strong enough to make it feel like it's impossible that the person's going to be able to defeat both of them. Which is your favorite bl uh, Bloodborne boss? Uh, who? Here, first I'll go with my least favorite was Martyr Lugarius. My most favorite, ooh. It might be the Maria fight. Or the Ludwig fight is pretty solid as well. Oh, Father Gascoigne is a is a very good battle with very good mechanics. The story beats behind that one as well. Souls games have this motto, it's hard but it's fair. Yeah. And the main guy who made the games is always willing to tell you, hey man, I beat the games. Like, if the creator of the game can beat his own game, then you can beat the game as well. Ooh, the one reborn cutscene is a solid one. Let's see, what would I... I love Maria because I I parried the absolute shit out of Maria. It was a beautiful boss fight. There was constant story beats that were hitting. We were having a great conversation. And I wasn't necessarily, like, overly doing a lot of damage to her. But when I counted, I was parrying the absolute shit out of that, <laughs> that woman. It was hilarious. I definitely like Vicar Amelia, but I call her Vicky. That's hilarious. That's adorable, too. I think, uh... 
I would love to do a record and everything of Bloodborne at one point or another, but it's going to be difficult since it's just, uh, I'll have to set up a PlayStation or something and then record it through my PC. So I'll have to figure out a way to do that. I guess I could remote stream it, but uh, that tends to lose quality. So I'd rather just be able to record it directly because I would love to do a uh, an actual Bloodborne playthrough as well. That was actually probably going to be my next playthrough after this one was going to be Bloodborne. Ooh, favorite Elden Ring boss so far has been... For as much of a pain in the ass everybody says about it, Melania is such a amazing fight with such great music, such hard phases. It really challenged me when I first went to go fight her. And it's one of those champions in a Souls-like that, uh, or a Soulsborn that really makes you have to think about what you're doing, what your next move is going to be. As a boss design, I love Estelle as a boss in general, Godfrey for sure. Ooh, yeah. I, uh, there's a short on the uh, channel that has me defeating the natural born yesterday two days ago i think it's yesterday it was a lot of fun to go against that boss again i immediately got shot in the face as if it was a sniper <sighs> hmm Oh, there we gotta go. Radon's boss fight is cool, too. I think the fact that you can summon so many NPCs all in one fight is the coolest bit about it. There's just something about it that just makes the boss fight really come to life when you're just summoning everybody. It feels like uh, Smash Ultimate when we got to see that everybody was back there. All right. With this, I feel like we've reached the inner sanctum of the castle, which is a great point. Do some stretches, take a break for a second. Really get back into the key thing of everything, because we're about to bust into the Shaded Castle, where we should be finding the point for uh, the part for Millicent, the arm. <clears throat> 